Welcome to Adam's Family Pursuits. From crafting to castles. From beach walking to hints and tips. Many things to share. Join us on our pursuits. Exploring new things. And revisiting the old. Hello, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Um, welcome back to another fossil prep video. Um, this one is, um, as you can see, a very well exposed um, ammonite. Um, but it has some matrix on it that I'd like to remove. Um, judging by the... Um, yeah, and my itself, he had a another whirl going around the outside because you can see the trace of the outer whirl on um, on the uh, and and the there. So yeah, so we're gonna try uh, attempt to clear all this off of here and uh, see where we go from there. So. I'm going to reposition the camera so that we can have a watch and then I shall probably put this on time lapse due to the length of time it's probably going to take to uh, remove this matrix. All right, so let's see how we go. As you can see, very slow progress is being made. Um, but I'd rather go really slowly and preserve this as best as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So I'll be back when I've done a little bit more work on this and uh, revealed a bit more of the ammonite. And um, yeah, hopefully we can have a nice, nice finish. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so about an hour has passed, um, as you can see this is still intact this side and I've been nibbling away at this one, but that's an hour's work so far. Um, this has got quite a bit of iron pyrite in I believe, um, I don't know if you can actually pick up the, the shiny pieces on there, so that's proven to be quite difficult to to nip off but um, yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on to another time lapse so that you can watch a bit more of what I'm doing and um, see how far we progress doing that
you can see I've got um, quite a bit done Oops. and um, I've got a quite a nice routine going on as I'm going round I'm just going round and round in circles just going down 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 and then um, when by the time I get down to the actual anime it, it's actually flicking itself off um, but yeah there's still quite a lot of matrix to come off and as I said it is quite tough um, I'll probably come back in a in a wee while um, after I've done some more and show you the progress um, yeah this is hard going hard hard going but it's going to be worth it once it's finished I believe Okay, so I'll be back in a while. Just thought I'd take you um, off the stand for a moment. Um, so I just wanted to point out whilst I'm having a rest, here's how far we've got. Um, still got a lump of matrix in the middle there, but as you can see, it's quite shiny, so it's quite pyritic. So it is taking a long, long time. But what I wanted to say to you was, whilst I was taking a break, is the importance of wearing a mask, a good quality, not a medical mask, um, like we wear when we go um, out um, with the uh, lockdown, but a proper one with a little filter on the side, because this, stuff is fine and when it's coming up from the from the amino you know from your from the surface it's coming up like smoke now that is very 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 fine dust as well as all the bits as you can see they're all over the place all splattered everywhere Now these little chips are the ones that flick up and hit you in the face. So good eye protection is absolutely necessary. So a mask, good eye protection, gloves, um, because the dust does actually dry your skin out. So yeah. Always, always remember safety first. I mean, I for one don't want to uh, breathe in two million year old dirt into my lungs and let it, you know, get all in. Oh, oh it just, it doesn't bear thinking about, to be honest. And um, I just thought I'd give you a quick view outside. The birds are a little bit ac active. And it is starting to snow. We've got a bit of a snow flurry going on at the moment. So the birds are quite happy. <laughs> so yeah, it's starting to settle as well because the ground is um, frozen from this morning. So we'll take a look at that later. Alrighty. So, um, this is how far, as I said, we've got with the fossil. Um, it is quite pyritic, so yeah. It's gonna take a little bit longer to, to get done, I'm afraid. But we will, we will continue. All right, so we'll be back when I've done a, a little bit more. Okay, so this is what we started with this morning with this side all nice and clear and as you remember this side was completely covered excuse my grey fingers but that's uh, fossil dust for you and now we have this so I finally managed to pop the centre it took a little bit of doing it was hard work um, I'm just checking the time we've actually been at this five and three quarter hours so 
all it needs now is for me to give it a clean up I'm probably gonna for, uh, polish it so we'll see um, so yeah I'm quite pleased that that popped out and the, and the center still all complete I'm very pleased with that we've got a little bit of um, missing here but um, that's where it's a little bit pyritic and I think that might be a bit of calcite in there as well I'm not sure but um, yeah so time to give us a little polish so I'll be back when uh, I've done a bit more tidying up so here's the final finished article I'm really really pleased with the outcome of this it's uh, polished up nicely I just use a little bit of um, natural beeswax just to bring out the sheen and helps keep the dust down and I think it makes it look rather pretty so I will do so uh, put the before and after photographs together so you'll be able to see the difference yeah roll on for the next time see you again bye